He has some dreamy gray eyes. Did y'all know that? Nope. All right, tonight we got 21 questions from easy to harder than meeting Beyonce and acting casual. I understand completely, Chrissy Teigen. Answer all of them right, you win some money. Or you can choose to back out of the game early at one of the, the prize questions. Just a few more seconds. So let's name a fruit for every letter of the alphabet. Uh, apple, banana, cranberry, dragon fruit, elderberry, fig, grapes, honeydew, uh, 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 Indian gooseberry, jackfruit, kiwi, lemon, mango, nectarine. <laughs> ready for this 21 questions you know the rules all right nothing to it but to hq it let's get it cracking with question number one right about now what tv show was set on a high-tech submarine dallas sequest dsv or nbc night news what's it gonna be ellen was showing me a video about this little hamster that rides around the forest in a car and my heart was like, stop. <laughs> That's so cute. 90s nerds will have fond memories of Steven Spielberg's Sequest DSV. 64,566 of you got it right. Even if you never heard of Sequest, I hope you don't think Lester Holt was reporting from under the sea. That would, that'd be uh, a little silly. Question number two. Here we go. The game 20 questions typically involves mostly what type of questions? Hypothetical, yes or no, or math? It's a little short. And I'm a little round. Hashtag cheeseburger cleanse. <laughs> All right. It's surprising how specific you can get with only 20 yes or no questions. Right? 62,812 of you got it right. Did you yes or no this one? We got 19 more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you got a yes, on to Q3. Ariana Grande once made news for licking what baked good? Bear claw, croissant, or donut? Shop. Just Thank you, Nick. I'm so freaking grateful for these donuts. <laughs> she was making headlines with her love life and her music, obviously, but a lot of people will never forget Ariana being the donut liquor. 54,000 of you, you knew that. That's just nasty. How you just, ooh, I wish Ariana would. That's not cool. Look at her. Call the police! Get that criminal off the streets, licking donuts all willy-nilly. Before we go to the next question, make sure you get yourself some extra lives, okay? They help you out. They're like a buddy in a time of need. Like a friend, like a, like a loved one that bails you out of a, of a jam. And by the jam, I mean you getting the question wrong. So don't get jammed. All right. Question number four. In the original Pac-Man, what does Pac-Man eat to turn all the ghosts blue? Any dot, strawberry, or power pellet? That's the sound my dogs make when they shake their heads. Their ears just be flopping. It's like, backo, backo, backo. Okay! Eating a strawberry is going to get you some extra points, but the power pellet will allow you to eat the ghosts. It don't make no sense. It's not supposed to. It's a video game. <laughs> it's just a little circle. They're just, he's, you know, less than greater than. Yeah. Oh, I was going to give you all some hints for Pac-Man. Just always clear the bottom first and make use of the tunnels. Knowledge. Question number five for the children. Who was a full-time member of both Nirvana and Foo Fighters? Nate Mendel. Chris. Novoselic or Dave Grohl? I think I said Grohl last name wrong. It's Grohl. Whoopsie. My bad. Sorry, Dave. All right. There goes my hero. Right? The longest lasting drummer of Nirvana and frontman of Foo Fighters is Dave Grohl. 
I knew it. Okay? 59,182 of y'all got that right. Yeah, 2020 marks 25 years since the Foo Fighters started rocking out together in 1995. Here's a prize question for you. You ready? Yeah, it's a prize. Okay, in Genesis, who does Jacob get into a wrestling match with? Esau, God, or Satan? I remember the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible. The Bible, y'all. Come on. Martin Luther believed Jacob literally wrestled God. Others think that he just wrestled an angel representing God. Oh, my gosh. That's a savage biblical question. <laughs> savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. 13,335 of you got it right, so I'm offering 95 coins right now. For 13,335 Player, player, I ask five questions for the next prize. What you gonna do? Ha <laughs> ha! What you about to do? You gonna take it? I don't know. I don't even know. But I'm about to find out. Yeah. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. 3,348 players chose to take 95 coins. I'm talking about Exasad, uh, Chiquilino, Bunts. <laughs> what about Bunts? That's a cute puppy. Is that the dog name? Bunts? Come here, Bunts. He's just like, oh, I wish you'd name it something different. <laughs> Question number seven. Here we go. Which is not the title of a Beatles album? Revolver, Rubber Soul, or Let It Bleed? What's it gonna be? Oh, it's the cheeseburger cleanse. I'm telling you, I gotta knock it off. It wasn't a Beatles album, but it was taking shots at one, okay? Let It Bleed was released by the Rolling Stones shortly after the Beatles released Let It Be. Ah, oh, 35,948 of you nailed it. Voice, calm down, okay? Go to your corners, take some deep breaths, and try to let it go. If you made it this far, well, you're pretty smart, okay? You know a lot of things. Your knowledge is unparalleled. It's robust. You got a copia. Tap this thing right here. You see it? Tap it. Get a multiplier. Multiply the points you've earned from the knowledge you possess and the points that your knowledge will gain you. Momentarily. Question number eight. Here we go. A boy's best friend is his mother. There's a line in what classic? Halloween, Friday the 13th, or Psycho? A boy's best friend is his mother. Shout out to Mama Richards. At mom was hilarious, or mom was funnier. She don't be posted enough. I don't know why I shouted her out. It's terrible. All right, from the ship's computer in Alien to Psycho, nobody celebrates mothers like horror movies, okay? Nobody celebrates moms like that. Oh, 33,414, got it. No son was ever so attached to his mom as Norman Bates, who raised red flags for everyone else who best friend was their mom. Shout out to my mom again. Yeah, I love her so much. Question number nine on sheet music. Which clef is a stylized capital G? Bass clef, treble clef, or alto clef? Come on, get with it. All right. Call your music major friends. They can finally contribute to society, right? The swirly G up top is the treble clef. 24,218. Got it right. When you got two staffs of a notation, okay, the bass clef is on the bottom because the bass notes are lower. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's lower. There's a bass clef right here. Yeah. Question number 10. Which of these is not a type of sausage? Haggis, conyu, or chorizo? I had to say it like that because it's like Kanye, but it's Kanye. you. <laughs> the big thing about sausage is that it's made out of meat, okay? And you won't find any meat in the holiday bread, Kanye. Yeah, 18,674. I've never had this, but it, apparently it's just eggs, flour, sugar, and some Christmas magic that rolls up into a Kanye. If you're looking for protein, stick to Haggis and Chorizo. Oh, yeah. Question number 11. Here we go. All dogs go to heaven. Delaware is known as the first state because of what event? Ratifying constitution, congressional approval, or Washington born there? 
myself. Or Washington born there. All right, back when U.S. states were still figuring out how to govern and be all stately, uh, Delaware was getting the party started. They was like, yo, let's ratify the Constitution of the U.S. Yeah, that's exactly what they said verbatim. It's in a deleted scene from Hamilton. They were like, yo, let's ratify. <laughs> 22,052! Got it right. Yeah, they were the first state to kick off the Union in uh, 1787, earning the state nickname the first state. Look at the back of the quarter. What, what? I'm offering 355 coins, 22,052 players. We got seven questions until the next prize. I want to see who picked the coins. I'm getting close. I want to see who picked these coins. You take it up? Uh-huh. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, that's good. Guess what, next? Such a long run back over here. Question number 12, the viral meme, but make it fashion, is from what television? The Rachel Zoe Project, Fashion Police, or America's Next Top Model? But make it fashion. Honey, I don't care, but make it fashion. All right, from smizing to uh, but make it fashion, Tyra Banks contributed more than her fair share of quotes to the internet during America's Next Top Model. Yeah, 3,878 got it right. I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you, Tiffany! Y'all remember when she did that? Oh, that's so silly. Question 13. In what state did this game take place? Take a look. Oh, man. Yo, this is classic. Yeah! Is it California, New York, or Missouri? If you recognize that announcer going crazy, then you know what's about well, you know what was happening. If not, then you don't know what was happening. All three of those states have hockey teams, right? But the miracle on ice occurred during the 1980 Winter Olympics in Lake Placid, New York. Hello! New York! Mm. Nope. Sorry, Alicia. <laughs> 4,955 got it right. The U.S. beat the four-time defending gold medalist from the Soviet Union. It was the miracle on ice. Question 14. Let's get it. The world's oldest still-burning light bulb is in what kind of building? Fire station, library, or gift shop? It's the oldest still-burning light bulb. My light bulbs only last about four months. I'm just, I don't know if it's because I leave them all. I, I turn them off every time I leave the room. Click. Okay. Want to see it in person? Then drop by the Livermore Fire Department. Yeah. What, what? 22 years after light bulbs were invented, a hand-blown bulb made its way to Livermore, California, where it's been burning 24-7 for over a century. 3,820 of you got it right. Okay. Question 15. What was never the working title of a Beatles movie? Beatlemania, The Long and Winding Road, or Eight Arms to Hold You? Never the title. Ding, ding. Okay. Oh, your long and winding road might end here if you thought that that was the answer. If you didn't think that that was the answer. Yeah. 3,065 of you got it right. Things can change throughout the creative process, right? Beatlemania was later renamed A Hard Day's Night, and Eight Arms to Hold You became Help. Okay, question 16. Who is the only person to serve as both president of the U.S. and acting president of the U.S.? Harry S. Truman, Chester A. Arthur, or George H. W. Bush? They were president and acting president. Okay, acting president has happened three times. All for medical procedures. Twice with Dick Cheney and once with George H.W. Bush. What, what? 2,221 of you got it right. The Constitution explicitly allows for a VP to step up if the top dog's gonna be out of commission for a while. Feel me? Word. Q17. The most massive single living thing on Earth is located where? The Atlantic Ocean, the United States, or Kazakhstan? I, I like to do this. 
good. Oh, yeah. Y'all got it? All right. A lot of big life has evolved over Earth's lifetime, but even the blue whale and the sauropod would tremble before Pando. Pando, 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 Pando. That's the name for thousands of aspen trees connected by a common root system over in uh, Fish Lake National Forest, Utah. What? 1,644 got it right. The United States, we got a, a big old tree that's connected to a bunch of other trees. Here's another prize. <laughs> it's like a tree coral. That's crazy. All right, here we go. The name of this dessert includes which of these? Take a look. Num, 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 num. Me likey. All right. Is it a French verb, English queen, or U.S. state? Lock it in, lock it in. All right. That's the ice cream dish that's frequently served on fire. The baked Alaska. It's an ice cream and cake topped by a meringue that is sometimes served en flambe. En flambe, flambe. On flambe. <laughs> Remember that episode of Fresh Prince where Will was trying to make a flambe, burnt the kitchen down? I wanted to try that so bad. But I was like, we are not on a TV show. I'm offering 1,000 coins to 2,452 players. Right now, we got three questions for the next prize. So what are you going to do? Let me know. Let me know. Six hundred ninety players just to take a thousand coins. Still got seventeen hundred sixty-two in the game. Little men, Yarny eyelash. What, Alexandre? <laughs> Congratulations to all of you that just took some coins. You a couple coins richer. Yeah, yeah. Question nineteen. Here we go. What type of food is not manufactured by any company on the Dow Jones Industrial Average? Hamburger, cereal, or soda? All right, the old DJIA shows American economic health by tracking the makers of stuff people like, right? And if you're judging by the 30 companies on the Dow, people like junk food because McDonald's and Coke are there, but no cereal companies. Come on, General Mills. Oh, my gosh. That's another savage question. 525 of you still in the game, babies. Yee, yee. Here we go. Q20. The recent Cats movie cast includes the host of a talk show on which network? E, NBC, or CBS? Huh? <laughs> okay. The cat I'm referring to is Buster for Jones. Buster for makes me feel good. Or as he's known in his human form, James Corden. Yeah, when he's not hosting his own show on CBS. He's presenting Oscars in a cat suit. 478 of you got it right. They should really call it Cat Pool Karaoke. Yeah, right? Because I mean, I think it works. Cat Pool Karaoke. I'll bring jelly beans. And she can sing. 478 of you just made it to the final question. How do you feel about that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why Valentine is coming. Where is your boyfriend? You are sitting at home. Lonely! Q21, the final question of the game. Get this one right, and you can have some coins. Here we go. How did a British museum worker reportedly react when he rediscovered the epic of Gilgamesh? Painted, tore off his clothes, or started singing? What did he do? <laughs> How do you respond to excitement? Story goes that uh, George Smith, right? He was so excited when he found that bad boy that he just started getting naked. Started stripping right there in the middle of the museum. Yep. How are you going to respond to winning HQ 215 players? Wow! He's like, oh, you're the best! This is epic! And I found it! Stripping up my clothes because I found that epic deal. Man. Bam, bam. The songs beat up, everybody start twerking. <laughs> bam, bam. Bam, bam. If you won, I have no doubt in my mind that you are twerking right now. 
Congratulations. You just got $4.65. Smile and on. Dilly dilly. Tiffany. Every day. Pum Jong. Dumb as a what? Jeff, what's up, baby? Ha ha. Marsha. Sirit speaking. Uh, Steve K one. That's a lot. But I'm proud of all of y'all. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Holla at me on the social media. Okay, make sure you come back tomorrow at 9 p.m. for our big jackpot Wednesday. Five grand up for grabs. Okay, words is coming up next with my sister from another mister, the one and only Anna Roisman. 